Hello and welcome to Anomalies of Christ. I'm Ed and here with me is Shane. We are starting a brand new podcast. Well, I guess piloting a new podcast right now while whilst today Dunamis is currently on break since uh, Sean is on vacation right now. Yeah. And normally we don't get a chance to talk about some of these more anomalies, anomalies. in our world, Shane. Ooh. So we thought we'd uh, just pilot a new yeah. podcast, see what we get, see what the feedback we get, yeah. see what happens. Maybe give, it might be a, a new show. Let's give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. Yeah. Trying yeah. something different. Don't, don't despise small beginnings. That's it. And uh, one thing leads to another. Yeah. Okay. Cause and effect. Cause and effect. You know, when we first started today, Dunamis, I had the same feeling, just kind of like, whoa, nervousness. Not to... Mm. Not so much the content of what we'll be talking about today, which is going to be very unique yes. and very different. It's just more like a, a newness energy sure. and excitement of something different. Yeah. So our podcast title is very unique. I, I'm, I'm the, really excited about this, it, yeah, the title. The title, Anomalies of Christ. Mm. The word anomalies are very unique. Do you have the definition of Yeah. I, lo- I looked up the definition because I was like, maybe okay. there's something unique in this. And this okay. is what Webster defines anomaly mm-hmm. as. And Webster can be relied on. For- yeah, Webster's all right. Webster's yeah. all right. Yeah. It's not fake news. No, no, yeah. no. We're not, <laughs> we're not here for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so anomaly means something different, abnormal, particular, or not easily classified. Mm-hmm. And that last part, Shane, yes. that part really went, whoa. Not- now that that is something that I, I when I think about God yes, and like how we as Christians <clears throat> look at God, our faith, yes. it's all very, you know, it's both somehow both simple and complicated at the same time. Yeah. Even when you look at the study mm-hmm. of God, yeah. there's theology, uh, pneumatology, Christology, mm-hmm. all separate studies just on- There's a lot there to be busy Father, with. We can keep busy for a long for time. For a long time. Yeah. Even the name of God, we still, we only have like little breadcrumbs mm-hmm. on the name of yes. God. You've yes. got Adonai, Elohim, Yahweh, El mm-hmm. Roy, El Shaddai, mm-hmm. Jehovah, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nissi, my personal favorite, yeah. I am. Yeah. Tell oh, them I am has sent you. Yes, I am has sent you. That's yeah. my favorite. And, and you know, I feel like one of the things about this podcast is that we want to be able to explain. Yes, yes. Explain some of the anomalies yes. of this world. Yes. But in the end, we all know that God, God's on the throne. Amen. And, we, and through God- the Bible, we can explain a lot of stuff. That's good, Ed. I, yeah. I like that. You've you've really thought long and hard about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, I have. I, I'm impressed. Yes, um, yes. And I, I think when you said about I am, tell them I am sent you. Yes. And <clears throat> you kind of pretty much want to share this morning, just initially as mm. an introduction, that yes. um, God knows that we don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. when you speak of all the names of God. Yeah. To me, Oof. that's awesome. Yeah. I I can't comprehend a lot of this because yeah. God and He's is immense. Yes. There's no beginning and no end. Yes. And for me to try in my three-dimensional thinking, yes. try to imagine God who's beyond, <laughs> who's beyond that. Who's beyond my <laughs> dimensional thinking as a human being. Yes. God God knows that too. Yeah. He's, yeah. Didn't he say that my thoughts and my ways are far beyond yours? Yes, yes. And we just gotta relax with that. <laughs> yeah. And say, okay, I get you, Lord. I know you're you have my best interests at yeah. heart. Yeah. I don't have to rack my brains and try and work out who you are. Yes. Like I'm sure we've all had people say, how can you prove God? I can't see him. I've never yeah, heard him. Yeah. You know, and, and yet you Christians, you have this faith and everything. Yes. Well, we don't we don't need to see or hear God. I yeah. have the word. Yes. And in my in our walk of faith, mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. word declares what's happening in my life. Yes. Through prophecies and revelation. Yeah. Through the witness of the Spirit, my conviction of sin. Yes. Now that's a not an that, that's in itself is an anomaly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's an anomaly. Like most people, <laughs> uh when they commit a crime, do something. Yes, it doesn't. It has no bearing. Mm. Whereas when I take this word and apply it to my life, and yeah. I do something wrong, immediately the, the Holy Spirit comes knocking at the door, Shane. <laughs> you need to get this right. Yeah, yeah. And, and there's no peace until you obey that. Mm. Yes. To yes. me, that's a high dimensional principle. Yeah. That doesn't come normal. Yeah. But yes. it's a good thing. Yes. I mean, it keeps <laughs> us straight. Yeah. But to the world, that's an anomaly. It is an anomaly. Yeah. You being a Christian. These days, regarded as that's not normal. That's not normal. Whereas doing? many years ago, you know, um, <clears throat> in non-Christian homes, we all said grace. Yeah, we didn't go to church. Yeah, but we had Christian principles. Yes, we um, sang Jesus songs at Christmas and yeah. Easter. It yep. may have been the only times, but we respected that our society had been brought up on Christian fundamental yeah. principles, and we did that. We respected people who went to church. Yes, even though we didn't, but there was that 
you know, it's okay. Yeah. I respect you for the, what you yeah. want to do. Yeah. Um, we said, Grace, we did all those things. But now mm. it's all changed. It's all changed now. Uh, yeah. I don't think you go anywhere and they say, Grace, unless you're from a church. From a Christian. church, yeah. Um, and a lot of people, I know a lot of people now in their 19s and 20s have mm. no concept of the virgin birth. Yeah. It's not taught anymore. Yes. Um, so the earth has changed in that regard. Yeah. Where yeah. things that were once regarded as normal, yes. now you're an anomaly. Yeah, you're an anomaly. <laughs> You talk to somebody who's yeah. not there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you go to a church <laughs> and sing songs to no one that I can't see. Yeah, what are you guys singing about? Okay, so, but but to us, that's normal. It is normal, yeah. That's normal. Yeah. What the Bible is teaching us and telling me, yeah. what I'm applying every Sunday and in my personal life, that to me is normal. Yeah. This is how yeah. it should be. That's how it should be. This is how it should be. Yes. And uh, But this is just the crazy way that the, <laughs> that the world <laughs> – yeah. am I rambling? No, no, it's great, Shane. I get a chance to preach, don't I? Yeah. Okay, I love it. Yes, yeah, I'm, I'm liking it. See, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> I love podcasts. It, we, there's no time restrictions. I no. mean, let's try to keep it under an hour, but oh. there's no time restrictions. Hang on. It's that great. wasn't the contract. <laughs> you had a contract? <laughs> oh. oh, I wrote it myself. <laughs> Crayons. I, I, I may have just fudged your signature, but um, anyway, uh -oh. um, it's all for a good cause. It's all for a good cause. <laughs> all right, well, we'll see how we go. Yes. And um, we've booked this room for how long? Uh, you know, Yeah. as long as we need it. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, look, Getting back while saying that yes. um, <laughs> um, God is much is much much higher than our th in our thinking. Yes, and yes. you know you, people say, but what about the people in other countries that have never read the Bible, they've yeah, never heard yeah, of Jesus? Yeah, yeah. And um, you know, when they come to the end of their life, is God going to let them go to a crisis eternity? Mm. I'm sure I'm not the only one that thinks of these things. Yeah, yeah. And I think yeah, there was there was nobody there to guide or uh, give them counsel or teaching on anything of the things that you and I have had. Mm. Yes, yes. Where does God place that? Yeah. Okay. Now, this is from my understanding that of the Bible that God is a God of incredible grace and mercy. And I'm not saying if I kill people, I'm going to heaven. Yeah. No, this is not where I'm going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. yeah. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> um, you can't do these things and enter the kingdom of God. Yes, yes. As we know. And, um, but I do believe that um, in our dimensional thinking, mm. uh, we can reason, yes. we can think higher than animals. Yeah. And which means that we can choose, decide to do this or that. Yeah. Which in a, in a form makes us a little bit like God. We can create things, we can destroy things, mm. and we have that power of reason to do right or wrong, do all these things. Yes. And <clears throat> God is a God of grace and mercy. Yes. And as I read um, in Romans 1, verse yes. 19 and 21, I might just, go just quickly go over to that. Physical Bible. What is this? Oh, hey, look, a this is physical Bible. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. That's different. Look, I love technology, but you know, God made this first. Yeah, <laughs> that's not Romans. Just bear with me. That's a bear with him. I'm a little bit old school. That's all right. It's okay. It's good to read from a physical Bible. I think it's good to take your time in life and not rush about and do yeah. everything. Yes. <laughs> now it says this in verse 19 of Romans one. Yes. Because that which is known about God is evident. Mm. Okay? Yeah. That which is known is evident. Yes. And within them, for God made it evident to them. Mm. So which means every human being that was, is, has been born, yes. God has put something in there that questions mm. us yeah. to seek him. To seek him, yeah. Right? Now, if you didn't, you wouldn't be born. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's telling me here that within them, for God made it evident in them. Yes. Okay? For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Now, which takes me to did I mention um, my first scripture, Psalm nineteen? In Psalms. I don't think so, Shane. No, well that's that's important. It is. Because the word I just said, what is seen, okay? Mm. The heavens are telling and declaring the glory of God. Yes. Amen. Okay. Yeah. And their expense is declaring the work of his hands. Wow, yes. there's something happening here. Yeah, yeah. What, what's happening here, Ed, is that God is showing to or bring evidence to the people who have never heard of him that I'm here. Yeah. There's something yes. bigger than you. Something bigger, yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, it just didn't add water and this stuff appeared. <laughs> something yeah. bigger than you. Mm. You, are you are looking at something that is just incredible. So that's got to cause a human mind to ponder like, yeah. there's someone bigger than me. The night sky, seeing all the stars in yep. the universe. And here's the thing. Yeah. People are still alive today yes. and still not hearing about God, but yet the heavens are still declaring that yeah. I am here. Yes. Okay. If the word is showing that the, the heavens declare the glory of God, it's the, the heavens are preaching to us. Yes. Look at me. Yes. Look at what I've done. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
And that, then it causes your uh, little journey of, of um, what's the word, um, discovery. Yes. I've got to find out who did this. Yes. I've got to, I've got to know more about this. Mm. You, you just can't, or you can't ignore it, mm. but um, moving on, it's speaking in present tense. Yes. So the word hasn't just begun and ended, it's continual. Continual, yeah. It's de- con- continually declaring mm. that he is God yeah. and he created this. It's like basically saying, look, if you struggle, look out the window and tell me what you see. Mm. You'll see God everywhere. Yeah, yes. You know, in a newborn baby. Mm. Wow, how does that work? I don't yeah. know. It does. And it's everywhere. Yeah. By what I call intelligent design. Yes, you know? yes, yes. Intelligent design. We've had the Bible for centuries. Yes. And many haven't. Yeah. But he gave us a heaven to ponder and to look at. Mm. You see your smallness and consider who is he that made this majestic sight. Yeah, yeah. You know? And why I've um, been reading this in the last couple of days <clears throat> is that, you know, I said before that God is a God of great mercy. Yes. And gives us grace. Yes. Oh, it's just amazing, amazing yes, grace. Yes, yes. Do you possibly think mm. that a person go all their life and – uh, with um, in complete ignorance of the word, yes, God, mm. and then you go up there and he sends you to hell. Mm. Well, we send ourselves to hell. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, true. Well, that person then go, oh, what a shame! I wish someone had told me. Mm. Um, but I, I believe in in Romans one that there was a stage in every person's life where we had a chance to do something. Yes, yes. And people aren't going to say that; mm. they want to blame something else. But I don't believe that God would bring us all this way without giving us a little. We can still choose to say no. Yeah, yeah. That's the reason why people go to a cross eternity because I says, no, Yes. I don't want to know about you. Mm. You gave me an opportunity. Yes. Someone spoke to me one day. I said no. Yeah. I choose to live the way I'm living. I don't want to repent and that's where it goes and God has to um, obey that as well. Yeah. That's yeah. freedom of will. Yes, yes. But I don't believe that um, we will go through life and not have something. Yes. Because didn't it say in here before that within them, mm. God placed that little seed of something yeah. That needs to know him. Needs to now, know this him. Now, this is only what I – I'm not saying that this is 100% conclusive. Mm. What I'm saying from what I read and what I know about the heart of God, he's a good God. He's yes. a loving father. And he did say that, you know, I would I would want none to perish. Yeah. And I think that God is going to go to every degree he possibly can before that life is taken. Yeah. And when they get to that great lineup in judgment mm. and they say, you know, no one told me and God might say, but you know what? <laughs> We did. We did, yeah. Remember that day in the shopping center and that lady came up and spoke to you about Jesus and, and you knew that she was right, but then you said, no, I don't want to change my life. Mm. Now, all these, that's just a little illustration, but yes. I still think that God would not have, um, would not want to send us away to eternity without him, yes. without inputting something in us. Mm. And this is my theory, how I feel about the heart of God. Yes. And um, when you think of yourself or myself as a father, yes. you will find that one day. Yes. You will go to every degree to save your boy or girl. Mm, yes. You won't rest until they're safe. Yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> but at the end of the day, if they choose to walk away, there's, there's not much you can do. Yeah. But you're not going to let them go mm. without putting something in them. Mm. Amen. That's, yes. how I, that's how I see um, the grace of God. Yeah. You want to add to something or move on to Now, you? yes. that's an anomaly. It is. <laughs> no, it, I, I agree with you, Shane. You yeah. know, I feel like in every every – last moment or I hear so many times of people's last moments mm. where just in that last couple of hours, couple of minutes, yeah. a, some, an angel, yeah. a Christian just appears, yes. they accept God, yeah. go into their life and then they pass away. Exactly. And I really do believe that that's what happens a lot of the times. Cause I, I don't know. I, yeah. I feel like God, God wouldn't just let us mm. just perish. Give not in like uh, throwing a life, uh, like lifeline, life, life lifeline. Yeah, yes, like a yes. lifeline to us. Yeah. Even in our mm-hmm. final moments, I still feel like God. God's character wouldn't be someone yeah. who would just, oh, well, it chose to die. Yeah. Don't ignore me. No. Oh. I mean, that's not the sort of God that I picture when I read the word. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know? And when, when you say that, I think straight away to um, and when uh, Hagar, yes. Sarah's uh, servant girl, yes. and as you know, <clears throat> she bore the child of Abraham. Yep. And not – Definitely not the will of God, yeah. but it happened. <laughs> it happened, yeah. It didn't disqualify Ishmael from a life. Yes. And uh, But here's a funny thing. Mm. It was the people of God who cast out mm. them. So uh, who sh- perhaps didn't show a lot of mercy. Yeah. <laughs> but had to leave the dirty work to God. He had to clean it up. He had to clean it up, So yeah. when when, when uh, Hagar was cast out in the wilderness, mm. to die, mind you. Yes. And that young baby. Yes. Tragic. Yeah. God's heart was broken. 
Mm. He met that young girl with that boy and said, hey, girl. Basically protected and says, go back and submit to Sarah. Yeah. Um, you know, you're, you're, I'll raise your son up and he will be, you know, a leader of many of a great nation. Yes. He will have a hard road. Yeah. As we know today. <laughs> yeah. But nonetheless, the mercy of God was there. Yeah. Okay. He just didn't. God was watching this whole episode of this poor girl being cast out, probably only 18 and 19. Yeah. And that broke God's heart. Yes. And when I read things like that, that's what underlines my, how I believe God will treat people at the end. Yeah. Now, you know, our missionaries do a great job on the field yes. and witnessing and, and people respond to that well, as we know. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, you know, when they, back in the days of the missionary journeys, even today, you know, millions of people are a result of that great work. Yeah. yeah. That's one method that God uses. Yes. Um, but still in all, there are methods where you can't get to people. Yes. Therefore, why would God exclude that? Mm. Now, I'm not saying they're all in heaven. Yeah. Because, yeah, yeah. you know, we know that's, that's not true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some will, some won't. Yes, yes. But it all comes down to, I believe, that God uh, will give everybody some type of opportunity. Opportunity, yeah. Yeah, they, you may not take it, and you may just. Yes. But um, I'm just going to weigh this up on how, when I read the Bible, mm. I see God's great heart. Yeah? Yeah, here's a very controversial take. Uh, God loves us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> very controversial. Yeah, he doesn't want us to go to hell. <laughs> he doesn't. Yeah. He doesn't. <laughs> the most controversial thing you'll hear from this absolutely. podcast. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Um, funny enough, you know, after I got from all that, actually, sorry, you, you move on if you need to cover something. No, no, I'm good. I... I'm good. We So on this podcast, not only will we try to – have some encouraging words and oh, some yeah. strange things that we've been Absolutely. feeling. We also do want to talk about geopolitics. <laughs> hey, look, you know. This, um, stuff, this stuff intrigues us, Shane. Ed, we cannot deny the fact of what's happening in the world. Yes, exactly, yes. All right? We but, cannot deny that. It's happening. It's mm. not something that you and I created yeah. two hours ago. Yeah. Right? You just turn on the TV or- um, This is the world we live in. You know, it's yeah. on YouTube, it's stuff. Yeah. And I'll be honest with you, a yes. lot of it is there to- um, you know, mess with your head. Yes. You've got to be careful with what you're reading now. Yes. Be yes. careful what information you're taking in. Yeah, the sources you're taking in. You know, yeah. it's okay to have a, a broad and open mind about things. Yes. But I think it's important that you don't make any conclusions based on visual evidence or what you might be hearing because it might just be. Yeah, just a headline, yeah. You know. Okay, it's happening. We'll, we'll see. Yes. But uh, the only thing that is absolute in my life. Yes. Is that Jesus Christ is the son of God. He yes. died and he rose again. Yeah. He bore our sin upon the cross. Mm. That, to me, is the issue of my salvation. Yeah. Everything else apart from that is just information. Yeah, yeah. But that's the only conclusive, absolute certainty yes. in my life as a believer. So something that seems to now be conclusive, Shane. Oh, okay. Is, uh, so our, our favorite Wagner boss. Oh, dear. We're pretty sure he's dead. Prigozny. Prigozny. Oh, we're pretty wow. sure. I think it's been three weeks <laughs> um, <laughs> since the plane crash or the uh, – Plane was shot down, or it just happened to do that. <laughs> yeah, well. <clears throat> so I think he's dead. <laughs> he hasn't turned up anywhere. Allegedly, yeah. there was a video that appeared of him alive, but people saying that well, was but, pretty. But recorded. doesn't Elvis work in a fish and chip shop? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, it's the same true. thing. Yeah, <laughs> we just won't let these people die. Won't let them die. You know, um, look, I would say, <clears throat> yeah, uh, yeah, I think he's no longer with us. I think he's dead. Yeah, and, um, <laughs> and you know, um, that's. Funny thing, he was promised um, sanctuary. Yes, yeah, sanctuary, yeah. Come back into the fold. We'll f let bygones be bygones. Yep. Uh, forgive you. Yep. Just, you know, get your men to sign this military plan and work for us and do this. Yeah, and you thought, joined the Russian army. It's yeah. all sorted. It's all sorted, yeah. Um, but, you know, <clears throat> as I was reading the other day, um, uh, President Zelensky. Yes. Um, you know, we want this war in Ukraine to end. Yeah. And I'm sure he does too. Yes. But I don't think the negotiating table is a safe place anymore. Yeah, I don't even know if that's even... If it's possible right now. I mean, it's off the planet now. It's not even going to happen. Yeah. It's going to be to the end. Well, here's the thing. Yeah. If you promise somebody something yes. and then break it, yeah. well, how are you going to have a meeting with the next customer <laughs> and them to have hope and, you know, yeah. sunny days? Yeah. How do we know Zelensky's plane's not going to get shot down to go to the pre peace treaty, right? Well, <laughs> but see, and exactly right. We're seeing bad fruit. Yeah. Yeah. So why would you want to go to that shop and buy that fruit? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Tragically, we, we need to sit down and negotiate on a table. But yeah. I think that option is out. It's gone, yeah. Yeah. That may come by perhaps Turkey, who tried last year. Yes. Or by another party. Yeah. Uh, who was basically on good terms with the Russians. Yeah. You know? Which, man, who is these days? China, North Korea, I think. Maybe. <laughs> from what I'm seeing, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, from what I'm seeing. Um, 
Actually, I had some information on that. Um, yes. Where are we? Yeah, the North Korean leader. Yes, Kim, Kim Jong-un. Kim Jong-un. He meets, uh, he's met Putin. He's uh, arrived by his military green train. <laughs> the armor train, yes. The armor train. <laughs> and um, what's, the question is why? Yeah, why? What, did what are your they, thoughts why, on that? Why did they meet Shane? I mean, there's been talk about a uh, arms deals, I think yeah. it was. Well, arms here's the thing. Deals, right? you, you spoke of China. Yes. And, you know, great country, yes. great people. And, um, you know, sometimes I think people are saying wherever you go, Ed. Yeah. It's just their leaders just aren't all that good and nice. <laughs> people are the same wherever you go. Yeah. All right. Just like you and me. Yes. And it, it's all down to perception. Yes. You know, and um, – you know, I can remember um, in World War II yes. that the Japanese people were told by their leaders that the American soldiers are going to come and eat your children. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember so there was this that, propaganda. Yeah. So propaganda. So they were, they were in yeah. fear and dread. Yes, yes. And any wonder why that was so ferocious. But, you know, that wasn't the truth. Mm. But it was built on lies and fear. Yeah. And um, so I think that the um, North Korean leader wants to uh, – he, he wants stage. He, I think he wants – uh, platform. He wants to be elevated in the world. Yes. And um, I don't think Putin can get what he wants from China because China wants to keep – after this war, I, I believe China wants to emerge okay with the rest of the world. Yeah, okay? yeah. We, we may not – we have different beliefs. We may not like each other, but we can still trade. We yeah. can still make computers and cars to sell or whatever. Yes. You know, trade both ends of it. I think they want to emerge that way. Yes. Because what they're seeing from the present year and a half is that they're not sure how Russia's going to emerge from this. Yes. And uh, I think they want to keep on a more stable platform for yeah. the rest, with the rest of the world. Yes. To me, that makes sense. Yeah, and even if you were to look at, uh, I mean, the whole population issue China's facing right now. Absolutely. With how there's more elderly than there is young people. Yeah, because they had that one child, one- One child policy for yeah, so for long. long. Now it's at two, now it's at three ch children. Mm. But like too late. Mm. We're starting to see the effects of there's just mm. more, old, more old people to look after. Yeah. And- you know, the Chinese politicians, yeah. uh, she yeah. probably has to realize, okay, we want to be aggressive. We want to be, you know, our world leader, yeah. but we just don't have the population for that right now. No. We have to really maybe, oh, maybe we're being just aggressive. Maybe we need to chill with Taiwan right now. Yeah. Because if you look at a, if you were to look at a war map of Taiwan, uh, China right now. It includes. There's so many uh, US factions just slowly, yeah. Yeah. slowly surrounding China. Mm. So maybe they find some. Oh, maybe we should just chill for a little bit. Yeah, but I really, I really, <laughs> your heart's got to go out to just the everyday people. The in people countries. there, yeah. Like right now, China's facing some oh, apocalyptic flooding. Yes, and yes. not just there, but around the world. But in, in China now, it's just untold amounts of infrastructure. People yeah. have just perished. Yes. It's just tragic. Yeah, and a lot of that is um, well, they they have heavy rains anyway there. Yes, yes. But uh, I heard that it's been uh, perhaps more devastating now because of the change of cities being built it's redirected the waterways yes. and all these away from beijing to protect beijing from the yeah, floods yeah. but it's regrettably it's it's pushed out into the country areas yeah, and yeah. places that never used to flood yes. have flooded and we know yes. that how water courses if they're interrupted it's got to go somewhere yeah yeah and tragically it's just done so much destruction yeah and why would you want to carry a war right now <laughs> yeah. and your people are just suffering suffering well to yeah. me that just doesn't seem Yes. the right thing to do. Yeah. I could be wrong. Yes. I don't know. I don't know the minds of these men. Yes. Maybe that's a good thing. Yeah, maybe it is a good I thing. I want to sleep good at night. Yeah. But you got to pray, you know, for the people in Russia and Ukraine and China, uh, what their leaders are doing. Um, mm. They just want to live. Ed. Yeah. They just want to live, Ed. They yes. want to send their kids to school safely. Yes. And I know that catastrophes happen all the time. Yes. That's okay. But when these things are created by man, it doesn't give young people a lot of hope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, we can rebuild and restore, but when – when it's like this with a, the war situation and footing, it's just it's just devastating for a young person's yeah, mind. It doesn't make you feel good. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it just doesn't. This is why we need the Lord. Yes. You yes, know? yes. We need him to be exalted in the nations, as I spoke before. Yes. Amen. Um, yeah, well, I guess, I guess we kind of quickly went away from the whole why is King Jong un meeting with, right. with Putin. Of course. So I think it's, it's like an arms deal, basically, right? It's an arms deal. Russia yeah. needs money uh -huh. because of the whole issue with their pe pe petrol and oil. Yes. Their oil sales are just like going down. Yeah, I know. So yeah. Russia needs to try to find more money to keep funding this war. Yes. If, if It won't happen. Mm. But if 100% of their oil and petrol sales mm. was to get cut today, mm. that war would end instantly. That's sure. the only thing funding that war with right now. Because mm. like you were saying about there are still like Brazil – 
Uh, no, I think it's Brazil just now. Yeah. But that's only been a recent thing where even parts of Europe were still buying gas and oil. Yeah, yeah. Right up to the last few months. Yes, last few and months. And they've yeah. been foot they've been building um creating that helping the Russians to uh, commit to that war yes. through those sales of gas. Yeah. Oil. yeah. But that's all finished now. I think it's only Brazil. Brazil and uh I think it's Austria. Yeah, Austria somewhere. Like it's still very minimum right. Buying gas, now, very yeah. minimal. It's all being shut down. Yes. And um yeah, so that's pretty much what's happening there. Yeah. Um, yeah, look, I think it's an arms deal. Arms deal, most likely. And, you know, North Korea seems to keep itself alienated from the rest of the world. Yeah. And so it feels it's got nothing to lose. Yeah. Um, yeah that's, that's just the picture I see and what I hear. Mm. Could be wrong. And with Putin obviously meeting uh, with uh, Kim Jong-un. Yeah. Whilst the G20 is happening right now. That's exactly which is, right. Which, you know, mm. I think they, I think Russia and China sent representatives mm. to the G20 where all the other leaders came there. Mm. I know um, our prime minister's over there right now. Mm-hmm. And, oh uh, yes, okay. and they were uh, they were using very specific words to describe what's happening in Ukraine, right, Shane? Uh, yeah, <laughs> actually, I had I had a, look, had a bit of a flick through, and um, yeah, the G twenty. Yeah, they basically, in a nutshell, decided not to talk about Ukraine as a crisis or an invasion. Yeah, I'll learn it's a crisis, but they won't use that word. Yes, invasion. But <laughs> they decided to keep matters strictly concerning uh, economics and. Um, what's that word? Climate change. Oh, climate change. Climate change. Yeah, global warming. Global. All those things. Yeah as a more of a higher priority. I mean, they're all good priorities. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but when so many thousands of people are being are perishing every day yeah. on the battlefield, that to me is devastating. That to me is like, well, okay, this is a super crisis. Yeah, man, what were you saying to me earlier? That it was 50,000 or 60,000 just this year, just in the last six months oh, on in the Ukrainian the, in side. In the winter offensive? On the winter offensive. That hasn't really worked well. Yeah, it hasn't worked yeah. well. I mean, look, they're giving it all they got. Yeah. And yeah. you can only do what's humanly possible. Yes. You know? But tragically, 60,000 soldiers have died in an offensive. Yeah. And uh, that's pretty much the same amount of uh, US soldiers uh, that perished in the Vietnam War over 10 oh, years. 10 years. 10 which years. Is insane. You know? Just in these few months of this offensive, the same amount of men have perished. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like I said before, just how long can you keep wasting life? Life. Life, yeah. Like, Sad. To the, this fight to the last, then what victory is it after that when there's no one there? Yeah. What have you got to. Be victory with, have victory with. Well, I know there's definitely some people profiting from this, that's for sure. Oh, <laughs> well, we know that, don't we? Yeah, there's some people who want to keep this war going. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like uh, maybe some uh, people in Washington, for example, had a, had a very interesting opinion from a Colonel McGregor. Oh, I've heard of Who him. was saying that if you were to go to like Google Street View, for example, and go to a housing area from like, let's say two years ago, and you fast forward to now, right? There's so many more mansions that have appeared. Okay. And maybe, look, maybe it's just what's happening with housing, or maybe it's a politicians profiting from this war. Like that is like in the end, you know, the mm. maybe be a little bit depressing. This is a, our proxy war. Yeah. It's yeah, America's <clears throat> fighting through Ukrainians, and Russia's obviously fighting mm. Ru- America versus USA versus russia and this is yeah. just a big proxy war yeah so many so many weapons that we have never seen before being tested on the battlefield mm. i mean i mean a month ago we we're talking about cluster missiles oh, yeah. how they'll banned everywhere but now they're being sent down to the ukraine uh-huh. it's it's like yeah so much military technology look, i think that yeah. um <clears throat> when you look at uh political leaders all over the world i yeah. think that's pretty much part and parcel that yeah. A lot of it happens in every field, in every in every government, even yeah. here, everywhere, yeah. that someone's profiting from something. Yeah, it's not just Washington. <laughs> yeah. I just think it's it's what's happening widespread. Well, for instance, yes. uh, in North Korea, yeah, you know, they they have nuclear weapons. Yeah, they have a, a fairly formidable arms. Yes, as we know, otherwise the Russians wouldn't be shopping. Yeah, <laughs> and then yet their people are starving to death. Yes, there's no food. Yeah, so you see one extreme of you know. Weapons of mass destruction, but our people are starving. There's yeah, no food. Yeah. That to me is just mismanagement. We're yeah. not taking care of our people. Mm. Um, you know, and I see India a little bit the same as that. The poverty and oh, the, yes. the, the, the the ways of living it. They're nuclear capable. Yes. And, you know, have their luxuries there. But look, this is just human nature. And you just can't blame one and not the others because it's 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 world spread. It's yeah. widespread. Yeah. You know, the, the people suffer at the expense of others and their expense, sorry. And so some can gain from their weakness and, and poverty, you know. Mm. Um, 
I got, I have another, you got any other questions? I've got another question. Yes. If we want to move on from yeah, that. Yeah, of course, um, of course. How are we going for time? We're at 30 minutes. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. I was going to talk about evolution before. Oh, yes. This is way off. This yeah, is way off. completely way off. It is. But this is an anomaly. Yes. This is an anomaly. Yes. Um, I mean, actually, before we finish that yes. Ukraine situation. Yes, yeah. Um, like, since this whole thing began. Yes, yeah. You know, you go on YouTube and on the news. Yeah. And the whole world is, is privy to the same information. Yeah. Just go yeah. on all the stuff. Facebook, the social media. Instagram. Pick up yeah. your phone. YouTube, Everyone. Yeah. yeah, the Russians are watching it right now. Yep. Everyone's watching it. Yes. What you and I are looking at. Yeah. Okay. We see all the photos, information, the military spending, weapons requests from all these countries. Yes. My only concern is why tell the world what you're doing and with what when you don't, when you don't want to know what you're doing. Mm. Like if I was going to fight a war, why would I be spreading all this information for him to read so he knows what my next uh, act is, my next step? <laughs> yeah. does it, does it, is, is this something that triggers your, it's like, why are we doing this? Just like do it? spreading intel, but free intel. Who's free intel? Here's what we're doing. Here's what we're posting. You know, by saying, what's happening. you know, we're, Okay, we just put an order for some F- F-16s. Yeah. Why are you uh, telling people this? Guys, <laughs> they're getting F- F-16s. Let's get something better and yeah. get ready for it. Well, why would you tell us that? Yeah. Why, why, and then tell them when they're going to be delivered? Yes. Like, to me, that doesn't make sense. Why, why, is, there, why is there something called a winter offensive? Why should we know that there's going to be an offensive? This stuff winter, should be right? for your eyes only. Right? This is stuff only James yeah. Bond reads. Yeah. <laughs> this is, you know, beyond top secret. Yeah. Why yeah. tell every world, everybody what you're going to do, when and how? Yes. I don't know. To me, that just seems crazy. That to me is anomaly. Yeah. What is military intelligence? You know, it's like <laughs> um, it's like uh, a surprise birthday. Yeah. So you want to have a surprise birthday for your sister. Yes. You go up there and say, hey, don't tell anybody, but I'm going to have a surprise birthday for you. Shh. Yes. <laughs> Hang on. You just told her everything. You just told me. And it's going to be at my place. So she knows where you're going to be. Yeah. At what, <laughs> like, <laughs> you keep it secret. You keep it secret, yeah. Right? Anyway, it's just a little funny little thing. That I thought of when we were going through all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I look at, I flick through all the photos of the war and everything. I think we should be seeing things like, ah, someone's holiday or nothing. Yeah, keep it secret. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. How, you, how can you win a war when you, how can you, if you're trying to win a war, why wouldn't you want to keep it secret? Yeah, imagine if we had the technology we It had should be now. for your eyes yeah. only. Yeah, exactly. Only those that need to know. Yeah. You know, but anyway. Yeah. Um, where were we going before? You were going to talk about an anomaly. A, uh, of evolution, oh, which yes. is a bit of an anomaly. Yes. Um, yeah. It's like, uh, where do I start with that? Let me think. Um, look at Genesis 1 1. Yes. In the beginning. In the beginning. <laughs> in the beginning, God created in heaven and the earth. Yes. That, that stops me from striving. Mm. That stops me from um, creating things that aren't real. Yeah. Because it just, just says God is responsible for yeah. what I see. As we saw before, heaven's declaring the, the heaven and the earth. Yes. God is giving, showing me that he's responsible for all yeah. this. Yes. So you look at things like evolution, right? Yes. And uh, that's like, well, there's a guy called Fred Hoyle. He was, he's dead now. He's an English astronomer and he yes. made this statement. Yes. And um, this is his little argument against evolution. Yes. And he said, he calls it the junkyard analogy. <laughs> Have you heard of the junkyard no, analogy? No, no, no. <laughs> all right, so just imagine, like, you got that chair there and yes. you're in a junkyard. Yeah. Okay, just sit there and you've got water and, and you sit there, you get comfortable. Yes. And all of a sudden, um, a tornado uh, appears, comes through the junkyard, okay, tears everything up. Yes. And then when it's gone, right in front of you, is an ass- a fully assembled Boeing 747 ready for takeoff. Yeah. Okay. With all the only with the material that was found in the junkyard. Yeah. So basically, if you sit in a junkyard long enough, that is, is that's a possibility of what could happen. <laughs> yes. According to evolution, <laughs> the jungle evolve into a plane. <laughs> can you can you believe that? That yeah, would be no, a, that'd be a great day to see that happen. Yeah, yeah. Wow. You know, yeah. ready for takeoff. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, it takes. What did you say before about? Faith. Sometimes uh, it seems that sometimes atheists have more faith than us Christians. Yeah, I just haven't got faith. I, my faith is yeah. too weak. Yeah. To believe that that could happen. Yeah, that we were created by an accident. Yeah. We just, we just so happened that an explosion happened. Yeah. And that we evolved from these like you know microscopic cells yeah. into a fish, into a land animal, into an ape, into a human with no intelligent design behind it. Yeah. So, I don't want to. I don't want to be compared to an ape. Sorry, I don't want to be compared to an ape. I see just a little bit. Yeah, 
<laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. They're pretty strong. They are pretty strong. Don't you live in a cage? No. Oh. Um. <laughs> It'd be nice to have hair again on the top. <laughs> yeah. But I thought that analogy was brilliant. Yeah. And like you said, it takes an enormous amount of faith to believe that something came from nothing. Yeah. And yet Genesis 1, 1 going back says that, hang on, it came from something. Yeah. But it came from somebody. Yeah. Wow. Yes. I mean, I can relax. Yeah. I can't get my – I can, my head just breaks trying to think of how – this comes apart with evolution theories. Yes. And yet, right from the get-go, God said, I did this. Yeah. You were created for a purpose. I am yeah, created I am. the universe. Yeah. I am did all this. And I go, I can see that. Yes. It lines up with the word. Yes. It lines up with everything that in the Bible. And we don't have to work so hard to work out who we are, where we came from, and who he is. Yes. I am. Yes. We were created for a purpose. You were created for a purpose. Amen. Person watching, listening to this right now. You See, were created for evolution. Evolution gives me, um, promises nothing. Yes. Uh, gives no eternal hope. Yes. Like you, you think of it for instance, when I die. Yes. And there's nothing. How sad is that? Yeah. It just, it just like, does darkness. It's like, it gives, it's just terrible. Yeah. Sad. Why, why would you want it? Why so would you want that? How could you tell your little, little son or daughter, daddy, what happens when I die? Oh, you just turn to nothing. Yeah. And we all forget you. Yeah. What, what would, <laughs> to me, that's ridiculous. Yeah. God gives us hope. Yes. Amen. Positive. Absolutely. A positive yep. outlook. Absolutely. Mm. There seems to be no purpose. Yeah. For being here for this and then there's nothing. Yes. Um, but yet we know that we're here for something. Yeah. And our something goes to everything beyond internal glory. Mm. It's just amazing. Yeah. I've never liked the idea that uh, I w it was just at random. Mm. I just so happened to be here because – I don't know, there was a dice roll, it landed on a six, and if, if it lands on a six, then it gets to be created. Yeah. I don't like that. That yeah, doesn't look, make me feel good. I mean, I'm not a world authority on this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm just working on what I read and what I feel, the heart of God, you know, and, and just um, fellowshipping with humanity in, in such that I see God in people. Yes. I see great hope. I see uh, great plans. Yes. Um, I just see God all over people. Yeah. And still with the freedom to choose yes. if they will or not. But God is still there. Yeah. You know, and, you know, we – um, evolution, obviously, the science be they've created some science behind it. Yeah. Obviously, yeah, I I've never studied it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, not, um, it's pretty boring. Yeah, okay, <laughs> but it must be very scientific. Yeah, <laughs> can, can you concur with that? It is very science. It's a science, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I guess it's all in the textbook, so it must be. Yeah, it must be true. It's must in be, a book. <laughs> it must be very scientific. The scientists that are preaching it and teaching it. Yes. So, okay, let's say it's scientific. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, basically, Ed, that came from nothing. That bottle of water. Yes. All right. Just happened. Yeah. But here's the thing. Uh, that takes a lot of faith. Mm. Oh, I can't get around that. Yeah, yeah. But I do believe this. Hang on. A man created some plastic from oil. Yes. He, he put it through a, I don't know, a machine. A refining A machine. refining, melted yeah. it down. Yep. This was had a mold and formed it. Uh, someone went and found some water in the hills. They filled it. Oh, yes. Okay. And in, in the beginning, yeah. God created. In the beginning of this, a man made the plastic. A man, uh, man went and gathered the water. Yes. He put a label on it, sold it to a man in a shop, gave it to Shane. Yeah. <laughs> that to me, that, that's that's feasible. Yeah, yeah. That's feasible. Um, and that's, you know, that that sounds, that's not an anomaly. That isn't an anomaly. Yeah. What is an anomaly is this, came from nothing. Mm. Now that's not very scientific. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> a scientist telling me something that doesn't back up what he's taught. It came yeah. from nothing, but then you... It has to come from something. Mm. Yes, it came from God. Yeah. That's just my little argument on evolution. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. I, th I think it's easier. Well, not just easier, but it's, it's to me it's common sense to believe that, okay, the great I am, intelligent design, the Lord yes. God created everything we see. Yes. Amen. Yes, you can always see God in, in his creation. The best example I've always seen was the example of a lizard. If you zoom right into a lizard's foot, and you look at the the grooves of its fingers, like oh, the yes. fingerprints and how it's so precisely made. So not only can it walk on surfaces, but then if it needs to crawl up a wall, it can. Yes. And But how can a, a foot both not be adhesive, but then be adhesive? Mm. Like uh, There's no way that could just be made at random. There's mm. no way something could just evolve. Because mm. when, when you look at the grooves, they're so precisely made to almost like the atom. Yeah. And you look at that and you, you can't see God in that. Mm. You got more faith than me. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how do you find that faith to do that? How do yeah. you, it's, in, it's, it's beyond, it's beyond your human reasoning, isn't it? Yeah. You know, I don't know. I don't know how I got on that, but I just thought that was interesting. You know, that's true. Now that's an anomaly.
It is a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's one more story we could talk about. All right. Uh, there was a a very wild fire fires that were happening in Mao. Yeah, that was tragic. Tragic. Uh, about three three weeks ago, I think it's been. I think about there's now. like two thousand people died. Yeah, still it? unaccounted for. Like, don't know where they are. This is women, uh, women, children, men. Like, very mm. devastating. What's been happening? And, yeah, yeah. And you know, there's been so many stories coming out of it. Like. Different theories of what is, what's been happening. I mean, <laughs> I've got a video. Okay. I've got I've got I've got a I've I've got a video that we can play of one of uh, some a very interesting thing that oh TikTok is uh, a very annoying uh, has a very annoying video player. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Here's the video. Watch this. Whoa! Oh. This this allegedly happened in Mao and is evidence of laser weapons oh my present. Goodness on the island and this is one of the how one of the fires started okay where where there's a very high chance that all that was was uh reflection was just uh the, the light we saw what looked like a laser beam coming from the sky mm. was probably just a lens flare okay and it was just a transformer just exploding mm. and not you know a big satellite pointing late and this is just some of the yeah maybe some of the conspiracy theories that's been coming out i mean even uh one example that you you told me about is look at Look at this this oh, okay. house. This is one wow. of the devastation. That's look, interesting. Everything's been burnt down, but this one house in Mao is perfectly fine. Yeah, look, I, I just can't explain it, but yeah. it, to me, that's an anomaly. That's an anomaly. Considering right there. the intensity of that heat around that house. Yes. Well, the paint on the roof of the red house should be gone. Yes. Uh, the car probably would have started to smoke. The green grass wouldn't be in the front yard. Because even some of the trees, you can see the trees at the front here. Yeah. They're yeah. burnt, but the house is fine. See, the car on the other street next door is burnt, but the car in this house. Or maybe mm. just turned up. I don't know. See, this is the thing. Yeah, and look, they're saying that the reason why this house is fine and everything else is not fine is because mm. housing codes are, uh, change every year. Well, everyone's so, going to buy those timbers, aren't yeah, they? Everyone's going to be wanting to buy one of these kind of houses I mean, now. <laughs> hey, look, I, I can't say either. Yeah. I mean, um, there, there's the proof of where it lies. Yes. Why it did or didn't, I have no idea. To yeah. me, it just looks anomalous that that would still be there. Yeah, that's uh, an anomaly. I mean, it's good to have an open mind, but- we gotta be careful that we what conclusions we make. Yeah, yeah. and it's it's it, it's crazy that um, there's like so many different stories coming out of this, but mm. you don't really see a lot of government officials no. like say no to it. And I was like, mm. why? Why is it taking like? Why are people saying there is enough conversation saying, oh no no, this this isn't why 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 isn't this happening? Mm. And I really do think you know, it comes down to if the government says that. These theories, these conspiracy theories, are wrong. Then, if, then who's at fault? Yeah. The government, because mm. there were—I mean, there was stories about like all oh, these emergency sirens not working. Not working. The water was cut off. The water was cut off due to drought, mm. right. so they couldn't get to it. Uh -huh. And they had all oh, these—it's like everything that could go wrong mm. okay. happened. You know what? That's quite possible. Yeah. And people draw conclusions based on that. Yeah. Uh, and come up with all these scenarios. Yeah. Like I also heard one too that. Um, uh, in that part of the uh, Maui, there's uh, Hawaii. Yeah. The, the the fields, the grasslands, where uh, they introduced a um, a non a non indigenous uh, grass. Yeah, I heard about that, that too. That over yeah. years has gone everywhere. It's gone everywhere, but it's highly volatile. Yes. And we know that when you uh, take a native plant out of its uh, proper place mm. and replace it with another, you're asking for trouble. Yeah, messing up. Now, I'm not saying that's the cause of yeah. it. But like you said, it's just one thing oh, after another. Yeah, droughts. Yep. The water was. Well, it's like off. us introducing yeah. the um, the cane toad. Yes. And it's not indigenous to this country. Yeah. It was. I think it was brought here oh, ages ago to like flies or something. Eat like some that. beetle. Yeah, yeah. And um, well, they not, not only loved the beetle, they liked everything else. Everything else, yeah. And uh, I love the multiply. <laughs> yeah, and they're just slowly going down south as the years go by. Yeah. And that was all because of um, okay, we didn't do our homework on that. Yeah. So. This is what happens when man gets involved, with, which God had already created. We're trying to play God and change things. And then I think that this is where you get burnt. Yes. Pardon the pun. <laughs> yes. You know, you get into trouble. Yeah. But, um, that, that's just one little thing I heard. And yeah, you know, it's yeah. probably true because we know that with the, with the cane toad. Yeah. I mean, mm. you know, I do think one conspiracy that has come out of this, that I do think is true, mm. but it's not, it's not so much a true as in like, Whoa, shadowy government. It's more kind of like, well, that's how capitalism works. Okay. And that I do feel that you're going to start seeing a lot more uh, housing development companies like buy up, buy up land from here. 
and you know, essentially taking advantage of what was a disaster okay. for profit. And and it's sad, it, but it's also one of these things that's like, well, it's capitalism. It if you're angry with it, why don't you change the system instead of complaining about it? Mm. And it's just it's just one of these sad things. Like mm. when it comes to these uh, uh, disasters, that mm. you know, there's bad and good. Yeah. In this case, I really do. I look at that and think, man, the government really stuffed up there. Yeah. What are these taxpayers going to do? And I don't, I don't know if we'll we'll see what the real effects of of this disaster for mm. like a year, exactly. months, years. Yep. I don't know. Like we might look back in a year and go, man, yeah, government dropped the ball. Or, or maybe like, oh, it was the laser weapons. Mm. <laughs> it was the laser. They were they were testing laser weapons down there. Oh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know but, uh, <laughs> they, your heart just breaks for the people. Yeah. And, you know, those that have died and have lost their homes, lost everything. Yes. Your just heart just breaks. Yeah. And uh, for whatever whatever reason, yes. um, God loves his people. He loves people everywhere. Yeah. And you got to remember too that uh, you know the Bible speaks about if you have caused suffering to the innocent, yes, you know, God will come after you. You reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. And I would hate to think. I know it's possibly it's not very untrue. I hate to think that you know leaders at a, such a high level mm. would create death and destruction to our own people. Yeah, I would hate to think that they would do that uh, willfully, yes. intently. I would hate to think that. But yeah. you got to wonder at times. Yeah, you got to wonder. You know. Yeah. So we we pray for these people, yes. you know, in Ukraine. Um, I'm sure the people in Russia don't want to fight this war either. Yeah. Their sons are dying. Mm. Not just the Ukrainian sons, but sons are dying. And we've got to pray for these people that who just want to live. Yeah. They just want to live and yeah. raise their kids yes. and their grandchildren. Yeah. They just want to live. Yeah. And we, we know that God is our only hope. Yes. You know, and um, – Mm. Let me read your scripture. Are we at the end? Yeah. Well, I was, I was going to ask you, Shane. Well, you yeah. know, we've talked about a lot of, I guess, scary, intense things that's yeah, happening see, in the world. Here's God, the thing: right, Shane, yeah? we can't get around with a head in the sand. That's true. That's All true. Right? That's true. So if there's a if there's a fully laden truck coming down the hill heading for your house, yeah. and I don't tell you, well, that wouldn't be real love, would it? No. I said, Ed, no. Uh, we need to get out now. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it's okay. Don't be afraid. Just get out. Yes. Because this is what's happening. So. Or if you're running in front of a bus, I'm going to yell and scream. Get out of But then after it's okay. I've <laughs> yeah. got to tell you the truth. Yes. You know, what well, the truth in love. Yes. You know, real love isn't love if I don't tell you the truth. Yes. You know, it's like uh, some friends of mine, uh, you know, choosing some bad lifestyles. I yes. said, brother, I love you. And it's the only reason why I'm talking to you now. Mm. You need to do this. Yes. If I didn't love you, I wouldn't be coming down hard on you. <laughs> yeah. Right? Truth and love. Yes. And, you know, and they appreciate that. Yeah. Now, for me to say nothing mm. and see them go into that bus, that's not love. That's not love. That's yeah. not love. All right. So, yeah, sure. We 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 bring these anomalies. Yes, the anomalies up. to our little segment. Yes. And uh, we we all know what's going on in the world. Yes. Um, yes. But Shane, let me ask you something. Yes. In all of these anomalies. Yes. Where is God in yeah. all of this, Shane? Well, that's, that's interesting. What I ask you. Oh, inter- interesting that you say that. Yes. Because. You know, when I read Psalm 19, it said, heavens declare the glory of God. Yeah. Present tense. Yes. He hasn't stopped. It, it, the, the sky is de- daily, nightly de- declaring. Continually, yeah. I am here. Yeah. I yeah. am. It's I not am. past tense. It's present. Yes. For the future. Okay. Yeah. Also in Psalm 46, God is, is. Yes. Not wasn't or will be. God is, is. our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Yes. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. an interesting word. Mm. That's something we're familiar with now, isn't it? Change. Change, yeah. Things. Not just forget about the climate. You know, world governments, are ch- you know, they're changing things. Mm. Um, the way we – our cultures are changing. Things are changing. Yeah. So, and I think not for the better. <laughs> A lot of it not for the better. Yeah. That's my opinion. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, and though the mountains slip into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains quake – in its swelling pride. So it's talking about turmoil. It's talking about, oh, you know, tragedy and horror. Yes. Okay, around us. But on the onset, verse 1, God is our refuge and strength. Yeah. He, he comes up with that right from the beginning so that to give a strong platform that, okay, I'm going to tell you some stuff. Yes. But don't be afraid. Yeah, yeah. All right. He didn't tell me all this horror and then say it. Right from the get-go, he said, I am your refuge and your strength. And I'll be here in that day of trouble. Yes. All right. So we're, we're good in that. Yes. Okay. Um, so moving down a little bit more, you know, the nations made an uproar, the king, the kingdoms totted, which they are now. You know, he, here's a good thing. God raised his voice and the earth melted. So 
as I said before, I don't know if I said before, maybe before we start our segment, I said that um, how, how I take God yes. in his actions is that he lets things go, things happen. Yes. But I think there comes a time when the Lord says, you know what, I've had enough. Yeah. You know, the Bible says that he's slow to anger. Yes. But he will act. Yes. Okay. He, he gives us grace, yes. but sometimes, you know, this is, the, this is it. Yeah. All right. If you're not going to listen to me, if you're not going to um, make amends here, I'm going to have to step in. Yeah. Because yeah. God hates death. He hates this destruction. Yeah. He hates seeing children killed in, by missiles in kindergartens and hospitals. Yeah. That, that's deplorable to God. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. And so I just do think that uh, God will step in at some time. Um, the earth is telling us that, I think. Yeah. You know, people are hurting. And that uh, doesn't – I just don't think that we're, what runs well with the Lord. Yeah, yeah. You know, and he is there for the people. He makes wars to cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two. He burns the chariots with fire. Cease striving and know that I am God. Yes. Cease striving and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. And then to finish that chapter, he says, the Lord of hosts is with us. Yes. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. So in between verse 1 and, and verse 11, there's some horror happening. Yeah. But he's there. Yes. He is there. And it's, it's by the hand of God. It's, by, it's the hand of God. It's up to God how he chooses mm. our future and our destiny. Yes. But our destiny is always going to be good. Yes. Because he is with us. Yeah, Amen. he is with us. So no matter – the world events don't determine God's hand. Yeah. World <laughs> events don't determine the plan of God. Yeah. God has already set that in order. Yes, yes. Okay? It's just the horror of men's free will yes. and hatred and hostility to others. That's happened since – well, look, oh. you know, Cain killed Cain Abel. Cain and Abel, yeah. Cain and Abel, right Cain from the beginning, Abel. you know. <laughs> yeah. But who came after Cain? Uh, what have you done? Yeah, what have you done? See, you can't escape it. If you break God's law, you can't escape it. Yeah. But God gave him grace. Yes. He said, you know, Abel's blood has called out to me from the ground. Yes. See? Mm. God still gave grace to Cain. Yes. Uh, but you can't do something and then hide from God. Yeah. You know, if I go to the pits of hell, he's there. Yes. If I go up to the heights of heaven, he's there. Yes. You cannot escape God. Yeah. And, and some of our leaders need to know that. Yes. Amen. Amen. I thought I'd finish with that. Yeah, it's very encouraging. Oh. Well, I guess that is the end of our first episode of anomalies of christ okay I'm, do you think they'll let us back on maybe i know at the very least we are currently planning a second episode a second mm, episode pilot boy, boy. next week same time same place well i'm hoping for some really good news yes and uh please tell us give us feedback uh if it's anything negative uh privately but if it's something <laughs> positive please publicly say it <laughs> god is good all the time god is good all the time all the time and all the time he's good he's good Yes, well, thank you for joining us and we'll see you guys next time.